Today, we are going to be making a White Russian. White Russian. Very classic drink developed in Russia. So, uh, to get started, the first step, as always, on our program is admit that you are thirsty. I'm thirsty. I am extremely thirsty. Step number two. Find an appropriate basement below grade dwelling to serve as your drink making facility. Preferably in the state of Missouri. Step number two, or excuse me, three. Step number three is secure an old fashioned glass with approximately three ice cubes in it. Normally we would place the ice cubes in the glass, but this has been provided for us by our gracious host. Step number four, twirl the rocks glass in your hand to loosen the ice in the bottom of the glass. Very good point, I would have not uh, remembered that if you would have reminded me. Step number five is secure a bottle of Kahlua liqueur. This is a rum and coffee liqueur. It was first developed in 1738 by Captain James A. Uh, Cook. James Cook. You're going to fill about a third of your glass full of Kahlua. It was actually developed in Costa Rica in the sea off the coast of Costa Rica by Captain James A. Cook in 1787. Step number six. You want to add half and half or whole skim almond or soy milk to the glass. Do not add any sort of non-dairy creamer or non-dairy milk like Sanilac or Infant Formula or anything that may be on sale. You do not want to splurge on a little bit of half and half if you want half and half. But yeah, I'll take half and half because I like things a little thicker. It's worth noting that if we were in Germany and we were adding fresh milk, we would be referring to it as Frisch Milch. That's correct. There we go. Good. Step number seven is add Smirnoff vodka. Smirnoff is one of the finer vodka, potato vodka. It is an award-winning potato-based vodka. It's absolutely wonderful. Triple car charcoal filtered vodka, purified with artisan water and artisanal springs from the Caucasus Mountains. Step number eight, you want to stir the mix with your index finger. I prefer the left finger because I'm left-handed. I opt out of the finger stirring and I just let the ice and the cream, the weight of the cream, sort of brush up against the vodka and the Kahlua. You'll see it's already sort of mixed. You do not, I repeat, do not want to use a shaker for this. This must be gently stirred in order not to damage the fish milch. Step number nine is inspect the White Russian for any impurities. That's correct. If part of it has begun to coagulate, you're going to want to start the process. Yeah, you so want to look for bits of dry evaporated middle pubes, anything that might have been on the cross of the semen, things of that nature, things that might have fallen into. Step the number ten, clink glasses with a good Russian friend. Salute. Very good. Step number 11 is drink your white Russian. That was a good white Russian. Step number 12 is repeat step number 11. Also, it's worth mentioning in between step 11 and 12, you do not want to prematurely remove your milk mustache. This is a tradition that can be considered quite attractive 
in certain regions of the world. It's a very good point. It serves as a mating call. A mating, mating call, call in places like Columbia, Missouri, Clinton, Missouri, Kansas City, Missouri, Sykeston, Missouri, St. Tide Louis, Wad, Missouri, Tidewad, Missouri, Jefferson City, Missouri, Tidewad, Missouri. It's the, the milk mustache, especially when you wake up with it, can be very gratifying, very rewarding, very, very rewarding. Okay, thank you for joining us. Please join in next week when we teach you how to make a zombie juggalo.